Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to beautiful Chiang Mai. I'm coming to you from the car. So we are getting ready to go to the vet. When I say we, meaning myself and you say hi Michonne. Man shy now, huh? Now, that's our dog Michonne. We flew her over here about a month after we arrived. But um a few days ago she was playing. I had a play date with one of our friend's dogs. We think she overdid it. She's limping around on her her rear left leg. So we're just gonna make sure that's okay. There's nothing else going on. Gonna get an x-rayed and also it is time for her annual shots. And so thought I'd take you along to the vet with us and I'll, I'll let you know how much that cost. Uh, how good were the vets, professionalism, all that kind of good stuff, I will fill you in. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. So while we drive to the vet, I thought I would tell you the story about our puppy Michonne. So back in 2018, I was asked to be a judge at an event called Strut Your Mutt. It was a black tire affair to raise money for the Humane Society. So prior to going to the event, we agreed we would not adopt the puppy there, but Dana fell in love with the puppy and the puppy fell in love with her. We already had a dog named Sammy, and I don't think I was just ready for another puppy, but here we were. I was upset and I was, just me and Sammy would hang out together. But then Sammy and her became friends. And they kind of fell in love with each other. Well, one day she looked up at me and that's when Dana asked if I would help to name her. So I thought about her story. She was abandoned in the backyard with some other dogs, some other puppies and some adult dogs. The owner ripped open a dry bag of food, threw it out there. The story goes that the adult puppies killed all the other puppies because of the food, except for Michonne and one of her brothers. So Michonne was a survivor, just like Michonne from The Walking Dead. So I said, that is your name. Well, unfortunately, a few months after we had adopted Michonne, we lost Sammy to cancer. So Michonne looked up at us and she said, don't worry, I will take care of you. I will be there for you when you need me. And so she became a lap dog, a big lap dog over the years. And she always found us, be it me, to play right before bedtime with her. Or if it was our daughter that just needed a hug or had a tough day. She spent time with my wife, you know, after a long day at work as a teacher. But the time came when we were getting ready to move to Thailand and we made a decision to leave her with some really good friends of ours who had dogs, who worked with dogs all their career. But after six weeks, it was time for us to bring her with us. So they sent her over to us. She flew from Miami, um, where she would end up flying to Germany. And in Germany, she would stay at what was referred to as a doggy boutique hotel, where she would be taken care of and from there, should be flown to Bangkok and then to us. We were so happy when she arrived and <laughs> she got used to Chiang Mai right away. She became queen of the porch. It was her domain now. She loved our long walks. She discovered new smells and new places. And we are best of friends, even though Dana adopted her I would say it's safe to say that we are indeed best of friends. All right, so we made it here to the animal hospital. It's called Small Animal Hospital. And um, we're gonna go in there. I don't think I'm gonna film in there. Um, as I pulled up, I saw this couple taking their dog in to um, the animal hospital and they were really distraught. And so I'm sure there are gonna be people in different emotional states in here. But I will tell you about it. I'll tell you about the experience and I'll tell you about the cost. And in the meantime, there's Michonne. She's making her way in there. She shows up like she owns the place.
There's the sign right there, Small Animal Hospital. Hopefully you can see that. And then what I noticed as we pulled around is that they also have an emergency room here. Uh, the hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And I'll put a, a link in the description of the hospital. And she turns me around. We're making our way to the front. Michonne, come on. There she is. Right, there's the emergency room. And I'll see you when I wrap up here. And we are done. It is a wrap. So we made our way back home. Um, Michonne is inside. It was a long day for her. And so let me tell you about our experience there. So when we got there, there was probably nine people that were already in the waiting room. There were people with their dogs, people with some cats. Uh, there was one lady that had looked like a, some kind of iguana or something that she was there also. And when I got there, I had to go in and I had to fill out a registration form. She asked that I have an appointment and I didn't have an appointment. And so the total time that we waited there was probably an hour and a half. And that is not a complaint because I am very grateful that without a appointment that they were still able to see me. So I filled out the registration and after a while they took us back to a room where the uh, vet and his assistant we end up putting uh, Michonne up on a table and what they want to do they want to check her range of motion because you know last few days she had been walking with a limp like I had explained and so what I was really impressed with was first of all the vet explained everything he was going to do he talked about the range of motion where he was going to be checking for the tendon the bone the muscle and he explained all that um, as he did those things um, we were checking for the left I believe the left hind leg but we were able to well he did both legs and the range of motion she didn't respond to any pain and so they didn't they didn't do the x-rays because he didn't think there was it was needed so once we left there we uh, we went back out front and a few minutes later we were called back again and that was for the vaccinations and so the vaccination were two shots one was for the rabies boosters and the other was a five in one uh, for some things I'm not very clear on it but they did those and all together um, it took only a few minutes once we were able to get in there and get that done but uh, when we went to pay this was the shocking part first of all let me back up before this place was immaculate you walk in there's no smell of animals it's very clean um, there was no problems at all with that and so we go to pay and she says 1060 baht and I'm thinking 1600 baht you know and so that also included, included her monthly Simpirica, which is for heartworm and fleas and ticks that she takes. Normally back in the state, in the States, that in itself is about $30. And so all together, the two vaccines, um, the, her monthly medication, the physical exam was, I want to say $29, 29 US dollars. And I'm very impressed with the place. Um, small animal hospital at Chiang Mai University. I'll put a link in there. Uh, folks, it should not cost an arm and a leg. That might have been a couple of hundred dollars. What do you think? If you've ever had booster shots and your shots, your vaccinations for your dog, please post down in the comments uh, what the cost was where you live at. But very impressed, very happy I'm over here. Very happy that she's getting the kind of care she's gonna get. So that's all I have for today. 
Thank you for joining me. I love you and I will see you in the next one.